Hey everyone, it's Harufoam here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Minecraft Java Edition with a controller. Now unlike Bedrock Edition, it's a lot more complicated to play Minecraft Java Edition with a controller because it does not have native support. So the first thing that you want to do is actually click on the first link in the description alright. And what that should do is take you to this page where you can directly go ahead and download the Fabric API. And after that what you want to do is go ahead and click on the second link in the description. And then what that should do is take you to this page where you want to download the installer for windows.exe for fabric loader, all right? And what you want to do is just go and click on keep and this should be done. And then what you want to do now is go and click on the third link in the description. And this is for the download page of the mod called Lambda Controls. What you want to do is go and download the mod. I already have it downloaded as you can see. And firstly, what you want to do is go ahead and install the fabric installer or the fabric loader. So just click on it. And what you want to do is go and click on install. Oh, and firstly, you want to also like close down Minecraft so that it does not interrupt. So let me just click on no and now I'm going to click on install and yeah, go and click on OK and close this. Now what you want to do now is head to your downloads folder or simply go ahead and click on this, like click on your downloads and then go and click on show in folder. And now what it should do is directly open the folder as you can see. And now once you're on the folder where you have installed the control mod as well as fabric API, what you want to do is go and click on Windows plus R. And then what you want to do is type in percentage app data percentage. By the way, in the description down below, there is a precise step by step instruction guide on how to how to do this tutorial. So you can directly go and follow that if you would like. And now what you want to do is hit on enter basically. And once you come to percentage app data percentage, you're going to see a bunch of folders. What you want to do is double click on the dot Minecraft folder. And then what you want to do is scroll down till you see mods. Now double click on the mods folder. And now what you want to do is go ahead and drag the controls as well as fabric API mod. And what you want to do is go ahead and place it inside the mod folder as you can see. And now since I already have this, so I'm just going to delete this so that it does not create a duplicate and crash my Minecraft. And basically once you have done this, what you want to do is go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. All right. What you want to do now is set to installations, go and click on new installation and then under version, you want to select the fabric loader version and you can name it whatever you want. For this video sake, I'm just going to go ahead and name it controller and then I'm going to create it. And now what you want to do is head to play. And once you head to play, just go and select your installation from here. So for me, it's controller and then go and click on play. And, and now once you opened up Minecraft or Java edition, what you want to do is go and click on options. All right, head to options, then head to controls. All right. And now you're going to see these like options over here. So by default, it's going to be the mode is going to be on keyboard slash mouse. What you want to do is go and click on it once and it's going to select the controller mode. And then what you want to do, you can go ahead and select your gameplay options, control options and do all of these stuff by yourself. And now what you want to do is actually go ahead and open up Bluetooth on your on your PC or laptop and then go ahead and connect your actual Xbox or PlayStation controller. So if you have like a PlayStation controller, you can use that as well. And obviously what you want to do is connect it to your device and then only it's going to work in Minecraft. So now I'm going to show you using the controller. So the controls are a bit like difficult or weird to master for the first time when you do this. But yeah, there we go. So I can go ahead and play the world and I'm going to show you guys that this has full controller support. All right, so now that we're in the world, as you can see, so you'll get the guide down below, like in the left hand side down below. It's going to say Y for inventory and swap hands. And you're going to get these guides. Basically, if you're using a controller for the first time in Java edition, it's going to be a bit hard to get used to it. So that's why the guide is there down below. And yeah, you can you can basically do everything you could do with a mouse and keyboard with your controller itself. And this is pretty cool. And yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, goodbye.